Hey, what's up? Big Earl of Northtown Sound, how's it going? Woo! Sharper video. Woo! Yeah, I kind of realize that people are watching this stuff, so I should probably get some more technology and some more uh, time into doing that stuff, so it's going to be a bit of an experiment, so hopefully it turns out okay. Anyways, I got the focus right finally hooked up to this Mini and operating, so I'm back in the sound game, yes! Um, so I thought I'd do a little video here on modded delays, modulated delays, and how you can create your own forms of modulated delays. Follow me on this adventure, won't you? Yeah, sharper, but still unsteady, whatever. <laughs> so, modulated delays, any modulated delay that you buy on the market is basically ripping off these guys in the wonderful memory family. Uh, one of these days I'll do a video about electroharmonics. They kind of remind me of most of my old girlfriends. Love them and hate them at the same time. They give it, they take it away. And then after a point they start taking away more than it should, but whatever. Um, so any modulated delay that's on the market, regardless of manufacturer, is a delay that has a built-in coarse vibrato. So, as the delay comes back, it gets some wiggle happening. And we all like wiggle. Wiggle's fun. Um, the only thing is, what if you want a wiggle that's not based on chorus or vibrato? How do you do that? Well, there's a way you can fake it. Okay. So, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the Joyo Digital Delay, which has a really nice clear repeat to it. Let's say for the sake of argument, we want to have a delay that's modulated by a phaser sound. For example, from the oil can here, from the boys at Garage Shown, and yes, I'm one of these people, I leave the price tags on everything. It's one of those things. Um, if we were to put the phaser right after the delay, we don't really get a modulated sound. Uh, there's bypass. <laughs> Which is a cool sound, but it doesn't sound like it's a modulated delay. So here's the thing, how can we make it so it sounds like this thing is inside of this thing? In order to imply a modulated delay, what we need is a split signal, a stereo signal going out. Now what we can do is we could use a delay that has a stereo out, like my beautiful RE20. Can't recommend these things enough. Great little pedals they are. Well, they're kind of big, I guess. Or what we need to do is to utilize a splitter box. And I'm going to be using my radial big shot on this. I cannot say enough brilliant things about radial. Killer company. Really wish their distribution channels in Canada were better. Uh, their primary distributor would actually have radial in their stores instead of plastic trombones. But that's another argument. Um, very solid one. And the phase shift switch on this thing is worth the price of admission alone. What we got to do is create what's called a secondary loop, which is sort of the next step on effects. Um, and this is something there's not a lot of on YouTube, so I thought I'd show a really simple, quick example of the power of doing this. So, we are going to create a secondary effects loop, or a side chain here. So, we are going to go from Magpie into the digital delay, into the splitter. One part of which is going back into the focus right and into logic. The second part is going into the garage shown oil can and then into a second channel of logic. Obviously you could do this with two amps or whatever. Uh, this is going to be a pig to shoot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt a split screen and hopefully it'll show over here of logic and we're going to see what's happening on this, shall we? Then by 
varying the volume of the second output with the phaser, we can imply modulation. Okay, whether you're adjusting that in your recording DAW or if you're doing it by your amp volume or whatever. Um, we don't have to stop with phase though. Let's say for the sake of fun, we're going to run some flanger. So I'm going with the Rowan Cloud flanger. Again, if you see my demo on this thing, this is sort of a modern MXR style, but it's got a filter matrix switch, just like the Electric Mistress. And when I pop that on, we can get some really cool echoey fun. <laughs> Or we can modulate silly. How about some ringworm? <laughs> Now let's see what happens when we go whole hog. And one final crazy, crazy idea that I've been playing with for the last couple of years. What happens when we delay a delay? <laughs> So there you go, giving you some ideas about uh, sublooping and modulating delays with other sounds by having a delay and a splitter box or running in stereo, running it in with like other crazy pedals. Um, some fun you can have. Um, and obviously I was doing this recording, but uh, if you got two amps, whatever your setup is, there's always ways around this. So yeah. And of course featuring the wonderful Joyo Digital Delay and some other pedals. That I have available, I got a show, ladies and gentlemen, at Nortown Sound on myshopify.com or on reverb.com forward slash Nortown Sound. So, um, you dig some of these sounds, might want to check out what I got there, okay? Cool. Thanks for your time. Hopefully, you learned something. Big Earl, Nortown Sound. Slowly, these videos are going to get better looking. Later. <laughs>